Hi, my loves. Okay, so I am hopping on to answer one of the questions that one of you beautiful ladies uh, gave me when I asked you just about confusions and frustrations going on with men and dating. So here is what she had said. Um, so it seems like men get too comfortable with routine and they take forever to move to the next level. I have some friends who dated for seven years. They literally spent every day together and it took him that long to finally propose. And then he said he wanted to wait at least another year before getting married. I mean, the girl isn't gonna leave and start over with someone else after having invested that much time, nor did it seem fair to give him an ultimatum, but it also seemed unfair for him to drag everything out when they're already acting like a married couple anyway. So what are these guys waiting for? This is an amazing question. And to be honest, at a certain point in my relationship, I was getting frustrated about something similar to this, even though it hadn't been like seven years. Um, and the information that I'm gonna share with you right now is just gonna make everything make so much more sense and just take some of like the emotional drama that we can feel around this out of it. Okay, so while there could be reasons that are unclear from your question, because I just don't know all of the context about this particular relationship in this particular case, uh, there may be other things that may be involved with waiting so long, but um, in general, let's just talk about like when a man waits a while for a commitment, even though he's like in a committed relationship, he's waiting to propose, like what's going on with that? Let's just take it at that level. Um, so why do men take many years sometimes to, to get engaged and get married? So let's dive in. So something you need to understand about men is that they aren't ready to get married at any time. So as women, we, we get to a certain point and we're like, yeah, we tend to think that love, it, you know, just being in love is enough um, of a reason to get married. We love each other. We want to spend our life together. So why shouldn't we get married, right? And we feel that with someone at any point in, in a relationship and we're like, we should get married, right? For us, it's more about having the right person. That is not the way it works for men. For men, it has to be the right person at the right time. Timing is everything when it comes to commitment. So this can tell you why a man can have an amazing connection with you. You can have so much fun dating this guy. It can be clear that he really likes you, but then he can tell you he's not ready for a serious relationship and that can hurt so much and be so confusing and it has to do with timing. And this is also why a man can be dating a woman in a relationship with a woman for years and not be ready to get married. It has nothing to do with the fact that, you know, he adores her, he loves her to death, he sees her as his future wife, but the timing isn't right for him yet. So for a man, there are things he needs to have done and things he expects of himself to be able to provide in order for him to be ready to take a commitment to the next level. So a man who isn't where he wants to be in his career may not be ready to get married. A man who is like, for example, still a student or doesn't have a well enough paying job may not be ready to get married. A man who doesn't have his life together in the way that he wants it to be and expects it to be may not be ready for a relationship. Or if he's in a serious relationship, not ready to get engaged and get married, even if he's living with you. So he may love you very much, he may adore you, he may see you as his future wife, but if he can't provide for his future wife or his family what he expects himself to be able to provide, then he will not be ready to get married. So she could have been with him for seven years, but if his life isn't in order the way he wants it to be, and he isn't where he expects himself to be in his career to be able to provide certain things, then he won't be ready to get married. And so while he loves her, he won't propose. So this can be very frustrating for us as women because we usually don't think that way. Like, we're like, we can figure it out together. We're basically already married. You know, I don't know what I'm doing either, but I love you and I know I wanna spend my life with you. So like, why can't we get married? 
And he can be like, I love you, I want to marry you, but I can't yet. Because for a man, he's got like a, a code of honor. He has expectations about what he has to be able to provide his family. And so your timing may not be his timing. This means that something that you need to learn about a man when you start dating him, especially if we're talking about men in their 20s and 30s, is where is he in being ready for a serious commitment or for marriage? Is he ready for a serious relationship? Is he ready for marriage? Some women meet someone and they do get married really fast to that man, and that's because of where the man she met is in his life. So he is ready for that. He dated with the intention most likely of finding a wife and getting married as soon as possible because that was his next step. That was what he was looking for and he was ready for that. Other men, they are not ready for that yet, but they're looking for a serious relationship. They're looking for someone to build with, but they're not ready to get married. And so you need to find out what his timeline is or what needs to be in place for him to be ready to get married. What does he need to have accomplished? Uh, what does he need to be able to provide? Um, and look at that like with clear sight when you're getting to know someone so you can kind of get a sense of like, does his timeline match mine? Um, this is really important if we have biological clocks ticking, we want to have a family, to have children, and we only have a certain number of childbearing years available or left, right? We have to find these things out. And a man will tell you if you ask. So it's not personal. It's not that he doesn't love her or see himself marrying her. It's about where he needs to be in his life, what he needs to have accomplished. And, you know, that can be really tough on the woman if she's the one who's been waiting for years. I remember what it felt like for me when I was like waiting uh, for my fiance to like finish his postdoc and get a job and I was ready like t uh, two years ago, like maybe one year before and I was like, okay, so like time's ticking, like, I, like what are we doing here? And he was like, I need to like get a job first, you know? And it was hard to wrap my head around in until I learned this information. And so it becomes about, you know, can I wait? Or do I have a different timeline and I can't wait for this man? But it's so important that we don't personalize these things and think there is something wrong with us or unlovable about us and he really doesn't love us or thinking that there's something wrong with him and just like almost ruin the relationship in, in, our, in our anger about it, right? So when we understand it's about the importance of timing, it just makes everything so much clearer and easier to actually decide what we are going to do about it. And then you just need to decide, does it align or not? Like, can I wait that long and not take it personally? Um, so I hope that helps. Inside the Aligned Love Mastermind, I have an entire module about understanding men and all these different things that they just do differently and think about differently than we do that can cause so much strife and conflict and misunderstanding in our relationships. Um, and when we know these things, make our relationships so much more harmonious, so much happier, healthier, and more satisfying. And so this particular topic actually has like an hour long training on all of the parts of just understanding a man's development and where he moves through stages he moves through and what you need to, to look for to know what stage he's in and what does he need in that stage and how is he going to be behaving? What can you expect from him um, so that, you know, you just have this information. Knowledge is power in this sense, you know, and of course, in the Align Love Mastermind, you also get the three times monthly group coaching calls to take all of these information and, you know, actually put it into practice and apply it to your dating life and just helping you with those tough thoughts and those confusing things that can happen and, and those moments that are really make or break it with a man um, so that you can meet and then choose and then build a happy, healthy, committed relationship with a man who's really a great match for you. Um, plus you have a community of other women uh, to support you who are learning all of this and applying all of this at the same time um, as you go on this dating journey together. Um, so if you're interested in learning more about the Align Love Mastermind or joining, then you can send me a DM and we can chat. Um, you can also find the link in my bio uh, with all of the details and you can sign up. Hi, Fernanda, how are you? So if you ladies have any questions about this, pop them in the chat and I will see you next time. Bye.